Hello students, my name is Laura Antonez and I'm your virtual content specialist for multilingual learners and today in partnership with the Division of Multilingual Learners I am going to guide you through a virtual lab. Today we will be constructing cladograms together through the NOVA Evolution Virtual Lab. The focus question today will be how can we use share the right features to construct cladograms that show different species evolutionary history and relationships through a virtual lab activity? Let's begin. First, let's review what a cladogram is. A cladogram is a branching tree-like diagram used to illustrate evolutionary relationships among organisms. Each node or point of divergence has two branching lines of descendants indicating evolutionary divergence from a common ancestor. Remember that a cladogram is used by a scientist studying phylogenetic systematics to visualize the groups of organisms being compared, how they are related, and their most common ancestors. By the way, phylo comes from Greek and it means race. And geni comes from genium and it means birth. In today's lesson, you will deepen your understanding on how to construct cladograms by engaging in the NOVA Evolution Lab, a virtual lab in which you will construct cladograms using shared derived features between different organisms. This lab is game-based and interactive and offers six different missions. In today's class, you will complete the first four missions of the lab, training trees, fossils, rocking the earth, DNA spells evolution, and biogeography, where life lives. You will learn what shared direct features are and how shared direct features, whether morphological or molecular, can be used to construct cladograms. You will also demonstrate your ability to interpret cladograms by completing a number of regions practice questions. Let's keep going. Let's start by opening the NOVA Evolution Lab in our browser. And it looks just like this. Let's go ahead and log in. I am going to sign up with Google. And I'm in. If you don't have a Google account, you can also create a PBS account. No worries. Your next step is to make a copy of the student worksheet for this lab. Just going to click in here. Your teacher has provided you with this lab and I'm going to go ahead and make a copy. First, I am going to open with Google Docs. Once I did that, I am going to go ahead and make a copy. And it will just save it on my drive. Done. Okay, the next step will be watching the Evolution 101 video, which is a video that introduces you to the basics of evolution in this game. Go ahead and watch it now. Step number two, you need to click the play button in the mission one, training trees, to open your first mission. Watch this training trees video to familiarize yourself with how to construct phylogenetic trees. Go ahead and do that and then come back to this video. Follow the directions to complete the three trees in this mission, red, green, and gecko. Familiar faces, tree of life, vegetarian edition. As you complete each tree, answer the corresponding questions in the mission one, training tree section of your student's worship. Let's move on. Okay, some helpful hints. Number one, the species beyond this point in the cladogram have a shared derived feature. It will light up in the circles above the species. If some species don't have this feature, the feature will be tossed out at the top of those branches. The magnifying glass allows you to learn more about each species. So go ahead and use it to know more about the traits of those species. Sure to write features are on the left side of the screen. Drag and drop. It share direct feature to the place where you think it belongs in the cladogram. You can drag and drop. 
Some of the shared direct features may be terms that are unfamiliar to you. If you're not sure what a feature is, look it up on Google or another source or ask your teacher for guidance. All right, are you ready to start with mission number one? I am too. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and click play game. And this page is going to open for you. And this is our mission, mission number one, training trees. Let's go ahead and play. If you haven't watched the video, you have another opportunity to watch the video in here. It is a really good video that is going to help you complete the lab successfully. Once you're ready, we're going to go ahead and click on number one, red, green, and gecko. Your first question is simple. Is a fungus more closely related to an animal or a plant? Let's go ahead and play. So drag these two species into the center of the screen to start building your tree. I'm just going to put gecko in here and then I'm going to do the same thing with palm tree. All right, I can go to the magnifier and it's going to give me information on the different trees. Palm tree. One important detail is that palm tree has cells with nuclei and it is a photosynthetic autotroph. When you click above, you can just like compare it with different species. Species comparison. The cells of animals, plants and fungi have nuclei which makes these organisms eukaryotes. The nucleus is where the DNA is stored. I also can go ahead and check gecko and fly agaric mushroom. Okay, so the way for you to build the tree is dragging these two species to the middle of the screen. And now I have to drag the shared trait onto the tree. So it seems that both of them have cells with nuclei. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drag it right here. Good job! You have successfully built your first phylogenetic tree. Both the gecko and the palm tree have cells with nuclei. This is perfect. We did a really good job here. Now, there is another species right here, the fly agaric. And we have read before that this is a fungi, right? And um, we can go back to the magnifying glass if we need to, right? But it's said in here that it has cells with nuclei, but it's heterotrophic, just like the gecko. Let's see if this information helps us to put this fly agaric close to the gecko. They are both heterotrophic, isn't it? All right, so you can see in here, these light up. Drag the remaining traits onto the tree. So these ones are heterotrophic and this one is autotroph. Great, well, to answer this question, is an animal or a plant more closely related to a fungus? We are going to look at the cladogram it seems that a fungus, fly agaric, is more in close proximity with gecko, which is an animal, because both of them are heterotrophic. So I'm going to go ahead and say animal. We completed the first part of the first mission, and let's do the same thing with number two. The process is the same, so I will speed up the video for you. Now it's your turn of completing this mission. You have to complete and solve Tree of Life Vegetarian Edition. And after that, do not, do not forget to go back to your lab worksheet and answer to the questions. That's all for me. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.